Fast, accurate, with Jennifer Copeland and Rick Schutt. You're watching WSBT 22 News at 6. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Copeland. And I'm Bob Montgomery. Rick has the night off. Now, India is really making some national headlines these days, and some of our own state and local leaders say it's embarrassing. Yeah, right now, people are using a boycott Indiana hashtag on Twitter, and it's all because of the Religious Freedom Restoration Act. WSBT 22's Kelly Stopsinski is looking into all sides of this tonight. And Kelly, we've heard a lot about this law and how it pertains to the same-sex marriage debate, but people who support it say it's about a lot more. This is about how religion impacts our everyday lives. We're talking a Muslim inmate in Arkansas. The P Supreme Court is allowing him to keep his beard because of federal RIFRA laws already in place. It's also about the fight over providing birth control at Notre Dame. But there's growing concern tonight about the potential damage created by the perception of Indiana's newest law. Numbers on the wing. It's Matt. Three. The last leg of the big dance in Indianapolis is turning into big controversy. Back to Hayward, puts it up, yes! The NCAA says it is looking at how Indiana's new religious freedom law might affect future events and its workforce. Arguably, any of these businesses should be saying, I can't do business in the United States because the same form of legislation applies to the entire country. Notre Dame political science professor Patrick Deneen cites the federal RIFRA Act signed into law by former President Bill Clinton in 1993. And Indiana is not the first state with its own law. Nineteen others have similar RIFRA laws on the books and have for years. Democrat John Broden voted against it in the Senate. Many of these states did it, you know, quite a long time ago. Um, you know, with, with Indiana, it seems like it's coming right on the heels when the Supreme Court has said you can't ban gay marriage. I think in this case we have an instance where you have a lot of disinformation and frankly a lot of passion driving this without a lot of information. South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg says he feels Indiana's new law discriminates against same-sex couples. I don't know why suddenly we need Indianapolis politicians to do this if it isn't about what I think it really is, which is sending a message to some Hoosiers that they're not as welcome as they think they are. So he's taking to social media to fight the backlash, tweeting with people from other cities, including celebrities like Montel Williams. What I've been trying to do is say, look, this doesn't speak for all of us. South Bend is open to everybody. Plymouth Mayor Mark Center, a Republican, says he has not read the law and he doesn't know how he feels about it. I don't think it was communicated well to the citizens of Indiana and, and I blame it on the legislature and I blame it on the media. Now, an Indiana University law professor points out part of the reason there is so much fear about Indiana's RIFRA law now is because of the timing. He says there is a very specific conflict between Christians and progressive gay rights interests. Also, Indiana law does not allow discrimination against race or sex, but there is no protection for gays or lesbians in Indiana. So according to that IU professor, that's why there's so much uproar over RIFRA laws here. And we didn't see that when other states passed their RIFRA laws 20 years ago. Jennifer. Kelly, thank you. Many